Kenya's new kiss. Come with me, Adele Onyango. We have Yemi Yamade live in the 254. I first got into radio when I was about 20 years old and I was very excited because who doesn't want a job where you get to be around music, celebrities, and you get paid. With time in my radio career, I started to understand that the industry, the media industry, wasn't very welcoming to women. We were there to be seen, not really to be heard. It was how glamorous do you look? What beauty definitions do you subscribe to? That wasn't who I was. I had to do a lot of work just getting in touch with my identity and who I am, and then quickly growing up to the girl who's like, okay, what am I going to use this platform for? My name's Adele Onyango and welcome to another episode of Legally Clueless. Whenever I travel, that made me realize that people outside the continent believed that there's probably one to two ways to be African. They didn't really know how much diversity there is on the continent and even in different African countries. And so what I wanted to be able to do through my podcast is to add more African voices to the global African narrative, to be able to help us understand ourselves, not just as Kenyans, but as Africans, and learn more about ourselves through our stories. When I first started podcasting and this new media space, I really stayed away from the term entrepreneur. I felt like my business did not look like any other businesses. I even had to like read the definition of what exactly is an entrepreneur, or what exactly is a business. I started warming up to that term and really approaching my podcast as a business. I found so much comfort belonging to a group of African female podcasters. It's a group from Ghana, Nigeria, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Kenya. The knowledge that I get from them, we get to talk about the barriers and challenges that women in business go through. It's something that is invaluable to me. What I'm optimistic about, especially in the new media scene, is Africans now will finally have agency over topics that we deem important to us and we'll be able to share these stories and have conversations around these topics on platforms that we own. That means that we can generate revenue around the content we create. So that makes me very optimistic about the future.